Hello, uh, this is Victor again. Um, this is part two of loading <coughs> uh, your product catalog from jc.com onto your website. Like I have this one done already. Um, on the previous video, which is this one, uh, I show how to build the data set for each category or for each device in this example. But now I'm going to show how I end up using the data sets, actually the XML files that I end up using. As you can see, I got iPhone 4, an XML file, so I'm gonna show my website. So for example, as you can see these tabs, iPhone 4, SPX, and this is the template. And as you can see, uh, I have some things that are static, like promotion, just, just an image see details as another image so the way that I use the XML file is this way I have a folder uh, under data and as you can see I got the XML files on this one on this folder and I have a list view that's the control that I'm using and this data source it's called product iPhone 4 and if I scroll down there's a XML uh, data source um, that I'm using. So the XML data source is reading the file that my program uh, generated in the previous example uh, video. So that's all you have to do. Drop a XML data source, assign the file you want, and then, in my case, I'm using a list view and inside this list view I have a layout template and in this layout template I have a table and inside that table I have a few things going on uh, one of the things is I have a data feature so go back here you see at the bottom I have you can page to the through this uh, page for the iPhone 4 you got five plus pages so that's what that control is doing and if you keep going at the bottom in the item template I have another table and in that table first of all I have an image button which is this guy so when you click on this guy it will take you it will redirect you to the uh, link assign on your JC account as you can see I'm using the expat um, open this guy up so what this guy is saying give me the image URL for it's called image URL so it's looking for the image URL right here for the image and then I'm gonna close this guy and then the next thing I'm doing is grabbing the name, description, the price, and the promotion text, and the buy URL. And that's all you need uh, to make this template work. So you got the image, uh, this data bound, that means that the name of this product, then the description, and the <coughs> promotion. In this case, it's a promotion on this one. Go back. It's free shipping. So I keep my images on this folder. I call product images. And I keep them here because it will load faster when you go into the pages or it's when you uh, go through the many pages for this product. So hopefully this gives you an idea on how you can use uh, the product catalog from jc.com uh, using XML files and using the server controls like XML data source and the list view and inside the list view using the item template uh, to make it look the way you want. If you have any questions uh, leave me a comment on YouTube
or on or at Facebook also <clears throat> facebook.com c sharp nerd thank you for watching